I am shooting this video from the gutted event in Colorado, and I tell you, I feel like a kid in a candy store. Everywhere I look, there are vans, schoolies, RVs, you name it. There are so many unbelievable rigs of every size and configuration. As I was walking around this wonderland, I came across a brilliant young engineer who built out the most incredible Ford Connect. You name it, this van has it, including a pull-out hanging closet. That's right, a hanging closet in a tiny Ford Connect. And she built a modular bed that fits together like a Rubik's Cube. Don't believe me? Come and see for yourself and meet this adorable and brilliant young lady. Hello, Eva. Hello. Thank you so much for giving us a tour of your beautiful self-built transit van. You're a newbie. You've only been at this how long? Uh, 10 days. 10 days? <laughs> and this is your first time building something out? Yes. Well, you were sharing with me, I thought it was really interesting why you decided and what motivated you and encouraged you to get involved in van life. So would you share with my Globies what was your inspiration? Yeah, definitely. Um, there are a lot of things that were appealing about this lifestyle, but um, I first thought about it when I read a book called Travels with Charlie by John Steinbeck. And he um, writes about his journey across America in his own built, self-built camper. Um, and I was just inspired because I, I'd really like to learn more about the country and the people in it and all the different ways that they live. Um, and doing this will allow me to do that. And um, I was really lucky to have a job that will support me along the way. So I'm very excited for, for all the adventures to come. So you just graduated from college when in June? Um, yes, yeah, this year. And you, right after you graduated, you started building this out, you were telling me. Yep, I moved home to Rhode Island and um, built this out in my parents' driveway um, as I started working. So how did you figure it out? Because a lot of people think, I could never do this. I could never build something out this beautiful. So how did you learn how to, to do this kind of building? Watched a lot of YouTube, first of all. Um, but beyond that, I think... It's also really cool just to try things and, and figure out what works and what doesn't on your own. Um, and something I love about this build is that it's not professional. There are some things that um, are a little wonky, but I built them myself and they made sense to me. And so um, I'm really proud of that and uh, really happy with how it turned out. Well, why don't you show us your wonky but exceedingly <laughs> beautiful van? Absolutely. Well, Eva, you were telling me that you love to cook. That's right up my alley, because yeah. I started out as a cooking show. So what do you keep um, and store your food in when you're uh, on the road? Yeah, definitely. Um, I have a fridge here. It's a Iceco 20 quart dual freezer and fridge. And so um, I have my cold foods in here and frozen foods in here. I love making smoothies. So I wanted to have something that had a freezer. Um, and it's a uh, yeah, plenty of space for one person. And it works. How do you like it? I think it works really well. Um, it works on either DC or AC power. Oh, okay. So I have it plugged up straight to my battery, um, and it's pretty efficient, pretty quiet. So I'm happy with it. All right. And now, as far as cooking, where do you do your cooking? I see there's a yeah. looks like a flip up table. Yep. So I have a flip up table here, um, and then my stove is stored behind my seat. And so I cook most of the time outside. That's um, a really thin stove. Yes, this is the Covia Super Slim Two Burner Propane. It's actually dual fuel propane or oh, isobutane wow. stove. Mine's um, very bulky. Yeah, and yeah, I, I've liked this a lot. It has a lot of um, a lot of power. I've never had trouble heating things up or boiling water. Um, yeah, and do you, yeah, fits really well. Do you um, do you use a lot of propane or do you use butane? Which um, do you use most? I use propane, so I store my 
jug in here, and then this just screws in on okay, this Okay, so side. you have the little, the little jug. Yeah, I have the little jug, and okay. so, I mean, this has lasted me so far. I'm not really sure how much is left, but, um, yeah. Okay, and what are some of the meals, since I am a cook, what are some of the meals you like preparing? Um, I've been doing a lot of Mexican food recently, so quesadillas, burritos, um, rice and beans. Uh, I usually cook vegetarian when I'm cooking for myself, so I really like um, like plant proteins like beans. And well, let's look and see how you clean up and where you store your dishes and all that. Since you were talking about cooking, I thought we'd look at your little kitchen that you made. So you have a little sink here? Yep. Um, so this is just a mixing bowl that I got for like $3 and I drilled a hole in the bottom and put in a little sink drain. Okay. Um, and this is great because it doesn't take up a lot of space, but it's enough space to wash dishes um, or wash my face at night. Can you show me how you have a water underneath the sink in what kind of containers? Yep, I have a six gallon fresh water jug and a two and a half gallon gray water jug. Um, do you have a pump or do you have a foot pump or what? I have a foot pump. So you use a foot pump and are you finding that that's convenient or a hassle or? Yeah, I like that I have my hands free to wash dishes as I'm pumping okay. water, but um, it definitely requires a little more effort than an electric pump. Okay, and then I'm looking at the floor here. We're venturing away from the kitchen a little bit, but on the floor here, this looks like, what, cork here? Yes, these are cork panels. Um, I'm really happy with, you know, how they look, and it's also very soft and... Um, and comfortable yeah, to walk comfortable on? Comfortable to walk on, for sure. Okay, and then I'm looking at your ceiling. You've got a max fan up here? Yes, max air fan um, helps keep it cool um, on hot days like this. And you were telling me about this little fan here. It really, you said, really is powerful? Yeah, it has three different speeds and really helps with air circulation if I'm sleeping or cooking. Um, and I also love that as the clip so I can put it, you know, up here or over here. Um, when you're cooking? This way. Yeah. Okay. So, and it's USB rechargeable and I found that it holds a lot of charge so I don't have to recharge it too often. But how long would you say the charge lasts? Hard to say, maybe like 10, 12 hours. Wow, that's pretty good on yeah. one charge. Mm -hmm. So now, you know everyone's going to ask me, how do you use the bathroom and how do you stay clean? <laughs> okay, um, for the second question, I have a Planet Fitness membership. So I do like being active, going to the gym, and then it's really nice that they have showers there so I can freshen up after. I do have a solar shower as well that I can use when I'm camping um, and some baby wipes for all the other times. And we're and, gonna show this solar shower because you have it hanging up in what I think is one of them, the most unique and the coolest parts of your build, which is you have a side closet, but I'm not gonna give that away right now. People are gonna have, not. people yeah. are gonna have to stay to the <laughs> end to see what you have hanging clothes in this little tiny space. Yeah. But, but as far as using the bathroom, I'm sorry mm -hmm. to interrupt, let's go back to that. Yeah, so um, in this storage bin, I have a lot of my toiletries. Um, and so I have a little kid's training potty <laughs> for emergencies. Um, I can put a bag in here and do my business and throw it away. Um, I also have a, a pee jar that um, okay. I can use if I need to um, go number one. But most of the time, um, if I'm camping, I don't mind, you know, going outside and um, properly burying uh, your waste and um, if I'm you know in a more like urban or suburban area finding a gas station or grocery store to use the bathroom. Okay and powering your you had told me earlier but you want to share exactly what kind of power you're using? Yep um, I have 200 watts of solar on my roof and I also have a battery to battery charger that connects to my car battery and my house battery and my house battery is a 200 amp hour lead acid battery. Um, I have that plugged into a 1,000 uh, watt inverter, which powers my outlets. And then my battery also powers my fan, um, some USB outlets, my lights. And you have a cool device. We're gonna look at that when we walk around. But I wanna ask you this for everyone who's so afraid of electrical, which I am. Did you do all the electrical yourself? I did, yeah. Um, I watched some YouTube videos about it that were very helpful and not only explaining how to do it but how everything works so you can be confident in um, making your connections um, and, and make sure you're doing them safely 
and um, I'm an engineer, so I, I love this stuff. Um, okay. So I really enjoyed doing the electrical. So you did this all by yourself. So those of you Globies out there, it's possible to do it yourself. You, you don't do have it. to be afraid. Yeah. Well, let's go ahead and let's look at, I think, one of the most ingenious parts of your whole van build. Well, now what I have been waiting and dying to show everyone, the reveal. Go ahead and reveal it and open it up, Eva. Oh my goodness. You have hanging clothes in a teeny tiny Ford Transit. Plus you have storage baskets and here's where you are storing your solar shower. And you have extra water over here too, I see. Yes, I use this for uh, drinking water, um, so I don't have to worry about filling up at potable water sources. Okay. And um, a lot so, of grocery stores will allow you to refill these, which is really great. Oh, okay. So I see, does this pull out? Yes, so this is a clothes, collapsible clothes drying rack, and so I hang my clothes on it, and I also hang wet towels or bathing suits if I need to dry them out. A typical engineer mind coming up with something like that. So you've got a closet that pulls out and becomes a drying rack. Yes. How cool is that? Well, let's go look at the last thing, and that is how you get a good night's sleep. Well, as anyone who lives the van life knows, if you don't get a comfortable and good night's sleep, you're not worth anything in the morning. So how do you do that, Eva? Okay, so first, I'm going to pull this out. This is on slats. Okay. And so this expands to the full width, and then I can pull this over. This is a just a floating box, and I actually keep my my bedding and window covers in this box when I'm not using them. Okay. And then the box comes over here, and this panel comes out and over to sit on this side of the the bed. And you designed this yourself? I did. Holy moly. It's a little crazy, but it works. So um, it's a moving, unfolding, I don't know what to call it, but it's just brilliant. <laughs> Thank you. And there you go. And this is about 34 inches, so just about the size of a twin bed. So it's oh my goodness. Now, explain this to me about the cushions. Who made the cushions? Do you want to tell my Globies who made the cushions? I made the cushions. <laughs> you've done everything. You've built it, you've wired it, you made the bed, the cushions, the upholstery. Eva, what don't you do? <laughs> uh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's going to take you a while to think of that, so that's okay. <laughs> well, Eva, thank you so much, but I did want to see one more thing. Yeah. That table pulls out or down, and that is your workspace. Yeah, so normally I would do this um, when it's in, you know, couch or right. seat mode. Right. But just so you can see, um, I have these hinges up here, and then this table comes down. I have a, a leg that I store back there, mm -hmm. and then this is a really nice big desk for me to do my work on or eat. And you can sit with the doors open looking outside to whatever beautiful that's, views you have. That's my favorite part. <laughs> wow. Well, Eva, just graduated college, just starting your life in a beautiful little van that you built. I'm hoping that we will be able to catch up with you after you've been on this journey for a while and see if you have any pointers for us. With your engineering mind, I'm sure you'll be making some tweaks, and we want to follow them so I can copy them myself. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you so much. Thank you, Eva. We'll see you down the road. See you there.